It's the best of times and the worst of times at Warner Brothers at the box office. Let's take a look at the estimates that are coming in for this week. But first, let's just remember how things were last week. Blue Beetle obviously being the biggest story that it came in number one, which is good. But it came in at number one with $25.3 million, which is on the lower side of what people were hoping for once the reviews started coming out. And there's some pretty good buzz about this movie because... I think it's a fantastic movie. So that's how things uh, how things shook out last week. But let's start looking at how things are coming in this week. Now, these are estimates. Things will change. Tuesday, we'll go into it a little bit more into detail with the box office addict. Uh, so let's come in with number five, Mutant Mayhem with $5.6 million. Uh, number four, we have Oppenheimer with $9 million. That, That's crazy. We'll talk about that. Uh, Blue Beetle, 12.8 million. So not not the drop that people were hoping. All right. Um, and then number two, Barbie, which means that number one is Gran Turismo is 17.3 million. Uh, let's start with the top two here. So Gran Turismo is making a lot more money than I think people thought. Um, you know, for me, I think I had something like 14 million. Let's look at my picks just for a sec. Uh, yeah, I said 14 million for this movie. So it's coming in above that for now. Now, again, these are estimates and we only have $200,000 differences between Gran Turismo and Barbie. So who knows whether Gran Turismo is actually going to be the number one movie for its opening weekend. That could be Barbie. So I could be right on the order given, you know, Things are a little bit different on Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see how things shake out. Today is, uh, you know, International Movie Day, I think, uh, where people can go to the movie theater for cheap. So maybe that will affect uh, a lot of these numbers. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, Gran Turismo is on top with 17.3 million. Barbie only dropped 25%. And again, this is just the story of the summer with both Barbie and Oppenheimer. These little incremental drops. You know, compared to pretty much everyone else, when it when they drop, it's huge. Other than Elemental, I guess. Um, but twenty five percent, Blue Beetle dropped forty nine percent. So this movie, as good a buzz as it had, it's just not enough. This movie is going to be losing money for Warner Brothers. You know, obviously Barbie is a huge win for them, but once again, this is the production company that brought us Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and also Flash, which are both huge, colossal failures for the company. So they needed Barbie to be a huge winner, and Blue Beetle is going to lose them money, which sucks. And I don't know what that means for the future of Blue Beetle, because I really like this movie and I want to see uh, Maradona back in the role and see, you know, future installments of the blue beetle franchise, but we'll see, we'll see what James Gunn does. But for now it's looking like it's going to be a failure, even though I think it's a really good movie. And then Oppenheimer with the 16% drop, one of the craziest drops I've seen in a while, 16% going from what was it? Uh, 10 point, 10.6 to just 9 million. Like th people like this movie, man. They just keep on going back for both Barbie and Oppenheimer. This is, this is an event film and it's making all kinds of money. We'll go into detail about the total uh, amount on Tuesday and the mutant mayhem uh, had a smaller drop than it has uh, had in the last couple weeks with 36%. So that's good. That's good for this movie, but still, it's struggling internationally. It's it's not a hit. As much as people love this movie, I thought it was okay, but a lot of people love this movie. It's just not going to be one of those movies that people go back to the movie theater over and over and over again, like, say, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So this is where we, where we have it for now. What I'm looking forward to on Tuesday is really finding out who is number one. Is it going to be Barbie? Is it going to be Gran Turismo? And how much of an effect does, you know, like, are you going to the movie theater today? Let me know. What are you going to see? What are you going to see? A lot of theaters have, like, cheap movie tickets today. Are you going to see Gran Turismo? Have you already seen it? Let me know all of that down in the comments section. And, you know, prayers up for Blue Beetle, you know. <laughs> 
like let's let's hope that they could just you know continue to have you know this isn't the worst thing in the world if it's less than 60 percent that that is a win usually but when you had this much of like a stumble out of the gate uh you know and it's not really the movie's fault i would pretty much put all the blame on the flash at this point but at the same time you know that is i don't know are we going to get a sequel i don't know but let me know what you think down in the comments section and check out blockbuster addict it's my podcast that i do on tuesdays and thursdays tuesday we'll dive into these numbers a little bit more and i will see you then on tuesday on blockbuster addict bye